Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So don't worry, this voiceover does not last for the whole thing. It's only for this first clip. For some reason, the sound had gone really weird on this clip. So yeah, I've had to record a voiceover. But for the rest of the video, bar one other tiny clip, um, it will just be normal sound. So this is my wardrobe tag. It's wardrobe Q&A. I asked on Instagram for some questions because you guys always ask me questions about what's in my wardrobe and my favorite items and everything like that. So Sam is behind the camera filming. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna talk through my wardrobe, which is really exciting. I also have another kind of smaller short version of this over on my IGTV. So if you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link in the description box, but it's the same video essentially. Um, it's just a shorter version. So the first question is, what is the oldest item in your wardrobe? And that is a really easy one for me. It literally came to mind straight away. And it's just in this wardrobe here where I keep like my long dresses and my jackets. Um, and it is this jacket, which was actually my mum's. Um, she had this when she was at uni. So I'm not going to tell you how old that is because she'll kill me. Um, but you can guess it's pretty old. Um, so it's like a Western jacket. It's really nice fringing, tasseling. It's such soft suede. Um, and it's actually a really beautiful jacket. And I wear it all the time. I wear it with like little black dresses. It looks nice with white dresses. Also looks really nice with like denim shorts and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that my mum has handed this one down to me, definitely. And it's uh, definitely nice that it's my mum's as well. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is the only clip and one other with the voiceover. So hopefully you guys don't mind. But after this clip, we can go back to normal. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, but I did find these and I feel like you guys, if you were big Abercrombie and Hollister fans back in the day, you will relate. This is probably the oldest item that I still own and I only own it for the memories. It's an Abercrombie and Fitch long sleeve top and this is when you couldn't get Abercrombie in the UK and my mum used to go to America and pick them up for me. I mean, look at it. <laughs> and there's this one as well which I used to wear all the time. Like, do you remember when it was so cool just to wear like these tops and jeans? So that is probably the oldest item in my wardrobe but they're cut, kind of like tucked away in a box so I don't actually really wear them. Okay, so the next question is, what is the newest item in your wardrobe? Now, it's probably actually the dress that I'm wearing. Um, so this is from River Island. I bought it from ASOS not long ago. Um, so that is probably one of the newest items. The other newest item is this dress. This dress here, which is from H&M. Um, unfortunately, I think it may be sold out at the moment, but if not, I will try and link it. But it's like a really nice kind of maxi dress. Um, and I wear it belted with some, yeah, belt. And I'd wear it with like black boots or trainers or something. So yeah, one of these two. Okay, so the next question is, what is the most expensive item in your wardrobe? Now, I know what that is. It is a handbag. Um, where is it? Okay. And it's this. So this is my Chanel backpack. It's vintage, I bought it from eBay, um, but it's definitely the most expensive of my handbags. Um, but I absolutely love it. It's such a beautiful bag. As you can see, it's got like really nice kind of like detailing on those really chunky chains. And yeah, it's just a really, really cool bag. I love it. I'll pop it on so you can see. Um, but yeah, it's definitely one of the most expensive, well, it was the most expensive item that I have bought um, in my wardrobe. Okay, so next question is, what is the cheapest item that I actually get a lot of wear out of? So it would have to be um, a white t-shirt, which is, yeah, this one from Topshop. I think these are like, I wanna say they're, like 15 pounds or something, or maybe even less. Um, but yeah, I wear these all the time. So that's definitely the cheapest thing that I get the most wear out of. Um, also, the Zara bodysuits, they're pretty cheap. I think they're like 12 99 and I get loads of wear out of them. Um, so yeah, just like little basics, really. I have got some bargains um, in terms of like other clothes, but that's for another question. Okay, so the next question is, what is the biggest bargain in your wardrobe? And I'm pretty sure I would probably say my... Burberry Trench. This was such a bargain. I was looking for one of these all over eBay and they were like £200 and just like more than I wanted to spend on it. Um, and then I found this in a secondhand um, designer clothes shop. Um, and how much was it? I think it was like 70 Something like that, yeah. Yeah, £70, pounds, um, which obviously I know is still expensive, but for a Burberry Trench, it's not expensive. <laughs> um, and yeah, I was so thrilled to get this literally over the moon. So yeah, I'd say that is definitely one of my biggest bargains. And then my next bargain, um, which I know obviously for some people you might not think this is a bargain, but for what it is, um, I got this at Vista Village um, and I paid around 500 pounds for it. I think it was 560 pounds. Um, and it's a Balenciaga City bag and these go for, I'd say over a thousand. So yeah, I got this for half price, which was really, really good. So yeah, really happy with that one. 
Okay, so the next question is what was the biggest waste of money? And I literally had to think about this for a couple of seconds. And for some people this won't be a waste of money, but for me it was. So I'm going into where I keep my shoes. Um, and I'm gonna pull something out that I think people are gonna be quite shocked about. These. <laughs> Okay, so for me, these Balenciagas were the biggest waste of money. Um, they were, I think they were like almost £600. I bought them because obviously it was such a big trend. And to be honest, like I, I do like them. I still like them and I wear them. But whenever I wear them, I'm like, these are the most uncomfortable shoes ever. They're so heavy. Um, I barely get anywhere out of them for how much they cost. And yeah, I mean, I just think they were such a trend. And I stupidly hopped on the trend and I shouldn't have. So yeah, these ones are the biggest waste of money in my wardrobe. Okay, so the next question is, what are five items in your wardrobe that you couldn't live without? So like staple items, um, and I'm going to try and do this really quick. So, 60 go. seconds, go. Oh my god, okay, count then. Right, um... One. Oh, <laughs> uh, where are they? That's three. Um, oh god. Oh. Ah, I can't even another item. Oh, or a trench. Actually, you know what? I'm going to swap that out. Time's up. <laughs> okay, so this is like my summer edition of this question. Okay, so the first one is a trench coat. This one's from Andal Stories. I actually own quite a lot of trench coats, um, but I just think they're brilliant in the spring summer because you can chuck them over your outfit. It just gives you that little bit of extra warmth without being too warm. They're quite like nice and casual as well, but they also look quite chic. Look great in the winter with skinny jeans and boots, but also look great in the summer with like denim jeans and a white tee. So that's that one. And then a blazer. Can't live without a blazer all year round. I wear this in the winter and the summer. I think a beige one is a really, really nice colour because it goes, like I said, in the winter and the summer. Um, but I was also torn between potentially including a black bottom, but I included this because I think this works better in the summer. That one's from Zara. A white dress because if you know me, I mean, <laughs> I literally just live in white dresses. So included this one from ASOS, which is just my favourite style of dress. Like it's the smock style with the long sleeves and stuff. I think it's perfect for summer in the UK. Um, also works really well on holiday as well. Um, a white t-shirt because, like I said, you literally cannot go wrong with a white tee. You can wear this in the summer and winter, tuck it into denim shorts, you know, tuck it into a skirt, tuck it into jeans, whatever. It just works so well. And then lastly is a pair of high-waisted straight jeans. These are from Levi's. They're my favourite ones. Um, really nice kind of like blue wash. And yeah, I think like that colour palette looks really nice together. So they are my five staples for spring summer wardrobe. Okay, so the next question is what item holds the best sort of most memories um, and like what is your most kind of sentimental piece? Now I've got two, okay, so first one is this top, <laughs> which I, um, I don't think I've worn in like four years, uh, maybe longer, but I wore this top when I first met you, first met Sam, by the Wee. way, the guy behind the camera. You. <laughs> You guys at home. Yeah. Do you remember this? Yeah, I do, yeah. Um, I wore this with some black skinny jeans and I just couldn't get rid of it because, I don't know, I just, it just really reminds me of the night that I met you. So yeah, there's that one. Um, and then the other one is in here somewhere. Here we go. Do you remember this dress? Interesting. Why? <laughs> so this dress I bought um, in LA uh, two years ago. Um, when Sam and I were on our road trip and it's from um, a vintage store, Melrose Avenue and it's such a gorgeous dress and I wore it in LA with like trainers when I was wandering around and then I wore it in Arizona with heels um, and yeah, it's just so beautiful and it just, yeah, really reminds me of our road trip so yeah, it's that one. Okay, so the next question is what is my favourite summer dress? Now, if you know me in the summer, it's literally all I wear um, so my favourite summer dress that I get the most wear out of um, oh god, this is such a hard decision. That ASOS one I showed you earlier, I love. Um, I also get loads of wear out of this dress, which is from H&M. Um, they don't do the exact same one, but they do a very similar one, so I'll link that down below. Um, but it's just, again, such a nice, easy throw-on dress. And I love a white dress in the summer. Um, what other dress do I get loads of wear out of? This one is another one I love, and I get loads of wear out of. H&M one. Um, from last year, 
gorgeous dress, absolutely love that. And lastly, this one, which is from Urban Outfitters, it's just like a black um, little cute sweetheart neckline dress. Really nice, got loads of wear out of that one last year and yeah, still love it. So yeah, that is that. I know I'm meant to be only answering one, but I can't help myself. <laughs> okay, so the next question is, what is one item that you definitely should get rid of but you can't? And it is these shoes. So these are so old, they're from Zara a really, really long time ago. Um, and as you can see, they are absolutely battered. I mean, I used to wear them so much and I love them. And I love how they look like when you wear them and stuff, but they're so ruined. I probably could take them to a cobbler's and get the heel redone, but they're like all the leather and stuff is ruined too. So yeah, I should definitely get rid of these. But every single time I have a wardrobe clear out, I just can't get rid of them. I don't know why, I just can't. <laughs> Okay, so the next question is what is your favourite pair of shoes and um, I'm going to do a summer and a winter version. So in the summer, these, as you can see, these are absolutely ruined and this is my second pair. Um, the white Gucci loafers, I love these, I live in them in the spring summer, um, they're gorgeous shoes. If you guys want a review on these, let me know because I always get comments on Instagram asking about them. So yeah, I will do that, but yeah, Gucci loafers definitely for the summer and for the winter. Okay, this is another clip that the sound has gone funny on. So for the winter would be a black pair of boots. So not necessarily these ones. These are from Zara. Uh, but Doc Martens or any kind of black biker boots. I love wearing them with like little dresses and a leather jacket and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely a black boot as well all year round. Okay, so this question and the next question kind of blend in together. But the question is, what is the most worn item in your wardrobe? And what are the best pair of jeans that you have? Um, so yeah, I would say that this pair of jeans are the most worn item in my wardrobe because I wear jeans pretty much all the time, like constantly night out during the day, whatever. Um, and these are my favorite pair of jeans and they're the ones I wear the most. So they are Levi 501 straight. I um, cut the bottom so they've got like a jagged edge of raw hem. They're so comfy. They've got like a little bit of stretch in them and they're just a really, really nice fit. And yeah, I love them. I love the wash and everything. So yeah, I will try and link these ones down below but they're definitely my most worn item and my favorite pair of jeans <laughs> okay so the next question is what is my favorite accessory and i think all of you can guess if you don't get it right then you also don't know me <laughs> um but it's these <gasps> so these are the ray-ban round classics um if you follow me on instagram i wear them in every single photo whether we're in the winter summer whatever um i'll pop them on now for you there we go. Um, I get asked so many questions about these, so I'll link them down in the description box below. But yeah, these are definitely my favourite accessory. I just think they make any outfit look cooler. Um, and yeah, they just, look, like I said, they work in the winter and the summer, and they're just amazing. I love them. I will never part with these. I've actually bought so many pairs of them um, because I do quite often lose them. <laughs> okay, so one of the questions I was asked is how do I envision outfits and how do I like put outfits together? Um, so firstly, it normally sort of stems around one piece. So say for example, um, let's let's take an example of, um, let's just do like this, okay? This yellow blazer, okay? A little bit Marmite, I know. Um, but yeah, so say I have this yellow blazer and I'm like, oh, I really love that, I want to wear it, how should I wear it? First thing I do if I don't already have an idea in my head, often when I buy things, I will have an idea. Like when I see something in a shop, I'll be like, oh, that would look really nice with blue jeans or with that or whatever. But sometimes I buy things and I don't have that idea in my head. Um, so I look on Pinterest, that's my first port of call. So I type in like yellow blazer outfit um, and have a little scroll through and see if there's any things that I like. Um, and then I just have a play around really. So I kind of look at the colours. So I think, oh, like yellow, what colours would go nicely with that? Maybe like a white t-shirt would look quite nice because it's quite neutral. Um, maybe putting some denim just to make it look a little bit like not too girly. Um, so that's kind of how I would go about it. It's by looking at the colours and holding them up next to each other and seeing how it goes together. So for example, let me grab a pair of jeans out. So I think that looks quite nice together, it's quite casual, uh, and then I think because I've got two kind of strong colours in there, like I said, I would put a white tee um, with them. So let's get a white t-shirt out. So I think that would look quite nice, and then because I've done a white tee, I would try and tie that in somewhere else. So for example, pop in the white Gucci loafers, so I'll grab them now. So yeah, then like having them underneath I think would look quite cool, or even some white trainers or something. Often if I have like an item, in my outfit, I try and kind of coordinate it with my shoes. So say I've got like a black blazer on, I'll probably wear black boots. Like I spoke about with this outfit, if I wore a black leather jacket, I would put black boots on, um, just to kind of tie it all in quite nicely. I quite like looking kind of a little bit color coordinated. So yeah, that is kind of how I decide 
my outfits. It is trial and error though, sometimes I put something on that I have envisioned in my head to look really good and I put it on and I'm like, oh my god, this is awful. So it really is just playing around and trial and error. But yeah, like I said, look at the colours, see what goes together, get inspiration off Pinterest, off Instagram. I also have a saved um, kind of folder on my Instagram of like outfits that I like. And yeah, just have a play around really, that's kind of the best way to do it. I would say if you have got like a pop of colour, then try and do the rest neutrals. Or if you've got a very neutral outfit, then think about adding a little bit of colour in an accessory or something like that. That's kind of how I try to do it. But yeah, that's kind of it. Like I said, it is trial and error though, so it's not going to be right every single time. Okay, so the last question is, um, do you ever feel overwhelmed with the amount of like, clothes you have? Um, and I sometimes toy with the idea of having a capsule wardrobe. I watch videos on YouTube and I'm like, oh, it would actually be so nice just to have like five items <laughs> that you just rotate. And I think fair play to girls that can do that. Um, but I just couldn't do it. I love clothes too much. I love having like loads of different options and like mixing and matching and I just absolutely couldn't do it. So I don't really feel overwhelmed. Um, if your wardrobe is overwhelming you then I think it's definitely time for a declutter and a clear out because everything in your wardrobe you should either absolutely love or it should be really useful. So if it's stuff that you're not getting wear out of and then because of that you've just got so much stuff and it is just too overwhelming then it's definitely time to do a little declutter. Okay guys, so that is the end of this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it and that you felt like it was a little bit different and I haven't done anything like this before, so hopefully you enjoyed it. So I am planning on starting a series on my Instagram um, where I'm going live with some of my favourite bloggers to talk about their wardrobe, so asking similar questions that I've answered today, um, but with them. So do head over to my Instagram, which is at rubyholly underscore, if you want to know a little bit more. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!